Hi, Andrea here. In this episode I'll show you how to make half-blind dovetails for a drawer front. I begin by setting up my marker gauge close to the front of the drawer and make a mark only on the back side. For this example it's 2mm away from the edge, which works good for the hardwoods and this drawer proportion. With the same gouge setting, transfer it to the board that will have tails cut. Mark all four sides here. Mark the tail's positions and make a cut. I have another video with hand cut dovetails and it's the same procedure for cutting tails. Pause here and go watch that first if you don't know it or if you don't own the magnetic dovetail jig. Transfer the tailboard to the pinboard by using a knife. You can use a square to align it or even better make a small alignment jig because it's much faster. I'll leave you a link to the video of making the jig in the description. Set up the marking gauge to the thickness of the tailboard and transfer it to the pinboard. Be careful to mark it on the inside of the drawer and not on the face showing. Believe me, it can happen. Now start cutting the pins at an angle, being careful not to cut into the drawer front or past your lines. Since you won't be able to sew all the way in the pin board, the good way is to use a piece of metal to sever the fibers in those cuts. For this I use a modified cutter I made. Card scraper works fine as well, but it's too thick for the curve my Japanese saw leaves. Next I use a white chisel to mark that gauge line a bit deeper and then I proceed to remove the waste with a smaller chisel. Take this cut slowly at first by staying off the line and with practice you will be able to go directly into the line and cut much faster. Remove the corner waste, you can use a special fishtail chisel if you have one, otherwise use a cutter, marking knife or a standard narrow chisel will work as well. Try out the fit and if it feels too tight, check and remove more wood as needed. The best joint should fit by hand pressure while staying in place, it's like a friction fit. If you have some minor gaps, don't worry about it. When you glue it together, the wood will swell up and it will cover those gaps. do 
Don't get frustrated and work slowly in the beginning. Very soon you'll get confidence, experience and excellent results. Now get into the workshop and start making some dovetails. But before you go, please take time to leave me a comment, like and subscribe to my channel. This keeps me going and making better video content for you. If you really like what I do, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching, see you soon! Thank you.